Okay, so this morning's tip is actually something that a lot of people know, but unfortunately there's a lot of people out there who don't know it. I've connected my GoPro Fusion camera to my PC via the USB-C socket, and hey, that was a chore in itself. But it's actually a very slow way to work with GoPro Fusion footage. For instance, if I open the GoPro Fusion Studio and go to Browse Camera Media, it has to prepare the media first, and you're thinking, wow, it went to 17% already? Not really. I actually connected this previously and watched it crawl along all the way to here. So if you're working with the footage off your camera via the USB-C socket, you're actually slowing yourself down. And this is just preparing the media. This isn't even stitching the footage. So there is a quicker and better way to do this. And this is basically not to work off your camera. Instead, what you would do is you create a folder on your local hard drive here called Fusion, and we'll do today's stage. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to stop this from happening here. We're going to remove the SD card from the Fusion, put it in an SD card reader, and copy the footage directly into here. Now, the reason for this is that it's so much quicker when you do this. When we're working from like the Fusion Studio here, you can see that we actually have a transfer rate that is quite slow. So if I just go to even play the footage here, look at that transfer speed. 13.6. Wow, that is slow. However, if we were to do it another way, which is to actually open the camera and remove the SD card, put it in my SD card reader. See, I am back. Now, this same file. Let's just copy to the desktop here real quick. Look at the speed. 85.4, 25 seconds, whereas before that one file was actually going to take over three minutes. So just from that standpoint alone, you're actually saving so much time, it's unbelievable. However, you just can't copy the files straight across into the folder and expect it to work. What you need to do within this folder is create two more folders. And we're going to call them front and back. Now that we have our front and back folders, what we do is from the back SD card from the camera, we're going to copy the back information. So in this case, I'm just going to select the files that I made yesterday. And as you can see, that's nearly 10 gigs of information. Just put them in the back folder. But those 10 gigs 10 gigabytes are only going to take now 2 minutes 15 seconds. Okay, so once the back card is complete, what we want to do is remove our SD card that we've just copied the files off and insert the other GoPro SD card. And this here is the front card. And we're just going to copy the same files from the same date into the front folder. This is only 8.54 gigabytes because it doesn't include things like the WAV files that were on the other SD card. So this goes a little bit quicker, but as you can see, compared to the transfer rate of connecting up your GoPro directly, this is so much faster, and that will make all the difference when it comes to actually stitching the files. Okay, so now they've both copied across. So we have the front folder and the back folder, and they are both in this folder here, Fusion 11 5 2019. So, how do we add our camera media to the GoPro Fusion Studio? Well, we open up the GoPro Fusion Studio, just like so, and then we click on Add Media. So in this case, our folder is on the desktop. It's Fusion 11.5. We just click that once, and we do not click into the folder. We just click on the folder itself and click Select Folder. And look at that. Prepare media just like that. That's how much faster it was. Now, all it's doing here is preparing the two trips I recorded. And this will take a few seconds still, but again, it is so much faster than if you were trying to read directly off the camera itself. So now that the files are loaded up, I'm just going to do a very quick render here. I'm going to go from here, just to about here. So there we go. little quick clip. Add it to the render queue. We're going to render all. And again, because I'm working on a folder off the desktop, this is going to be much faster than actually when I try and work with the same footage directly off the camera. So you've been having slow stitch times 
One of the reasons is because you're working directly off the camera and not off your folder with the SD card information copied across. So as you can see, it's taking its time here, but this is so much quicker than working directly off the SD cards. So that's your Demon View tip for the day. Don't work directly off your camera. Copy the information onto your hard drive, and if it's an SSD, that's even better, and that will speed up your process so much more.